Purdue University played host to nearly 300 children this summer at its sixth annual National Youth Sports Program camp. Camp Director Bill Harper said Tippecanoe County students aged 10 through 16 are selected for the month-long tuition-free camp based on financial need. The uh, camp's intention is to, to try to take some youngsters who may not have had some of these positive experiences uh, on a university campus and to give them as much uh, exposure to a variety of future possibilities uh, for them to consider as they kind of uh, begin to grow into their own lives. In addition to sports like softball and volleyball, the students engaged in a variety of enrichment activities like writing electronic newsletters, attending a career fair, and volunteering in the community. Camper Tracy Emmons enjoyed working on the computers, but it's the chance to remain physically active that brought the 14-year-old back to the camp for a third year. My mom doesn't want us to like stay at home and be a couch potato because my sister goes here too and watch TV all the time because we usually don't get out when we're at home. So I get to do stuff here and get a workout. Harper said the award-winning camp's retention rate is nearly four times as high as similar camps elsewhere. He said that research shows that the camp improves a student's attitude towards education, self-perception, and sportsmanship. One youngster desperately wanted to be a team leader, a junior team leader, and uh, it was a grade issue. And we said, you got a year, we want to see those grades up. At medicals this year, he came up to me, showed me his grades, they were outstanding grades, he was ready to go, and, and we moved him into a junior team leader position. The camp added new science education this year to a curriculum that includes health and anti-drug education. 14-year-old Brian Ferreira found those lessons helpful as he prepares to begin high school, but he particularly enjoyed making friends before the school year begins while playing his beloved soccer and some sports new to him. Swimming like makes you work out a lot, and then, I don't know, just trying out new things is like a little change, so you, you get to do a little bit of everything. Until this year, the camp received federal funds to cover 25% of its $300,000 in annual cost. Minus those funds, this year the camp was shortened by a week and Purdue provided extra support. The camp is looking for additional funds from the community to keep the camp going strong. Kids really like it here and that they should donate or that they can, like I said, they could come here and see what we're doing. Harper says the investment in the camp pays dividends when he hears from parents that their kids return from camp more motivated to succeed academically and to be fit for life. We've had other youngsters who have had uh, some difficulty sometimes at home or in school and um, we get a chance to be with them for five weeks all day long and we're able to sometimes make their uh, life a little bit happier than maybe it is off campus. For Purdue News Service, I'm Jim Shank.